Which you guys got another video here for you. This Windows update finally made Windows 11 better. If you're running Windows 11 24H2, then when you get the update KB5058499, this is going to make the system a lot more stable. Microsoft have been working really hard to try and stabilize 24H2 because there's been so many problems with 24H2. So with this update, it should rectify a lot of the issues that you might be having. Now, if you haven't received this update just yet, don't worry, Microsoft are steadily rolling out this update in stages. So it's gonna be in groups of people that are gonna receive it, depending on what country you're in and what state you're in, it will suddenly be pushed out to you. So you might not get it straight away, but you will eventually get it and it will make major changes to Windows 11 24H2. If you're a gamer, you're going to be well pleased with this update because it has fixed major bugs where games would stop working or they would hang altogether. And is there's been massive frame drops and freezing and stuttering. And this patch is actually fixed all of those issues. So graphics kernel has been fixed as well, which is an issue where some games and titles become unresponsive after upgrading to 24H2. Some people have complained about input lag with the mouse and keyboard. This has also now been patched with this update as well. We'll take a look at this in more detail after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once they send you your key, you can use that key to activate your version of Windows. Okay, so I'm going to finish off updating this and then I'll show you what the actual release notes will say about some of the fixes that this patch has done. So obviously Microsoft have been working tirelessly on this particular update because Windows 11 24H2 has been plagued with a heap of issues. As soon as they fix one issue, two or three more uh, arise. So this hopefully is the end of the issues that a lot of people have been complaining about on Windows 11 24H2. Now, if you do want to receive this as quick as possible, then make sure you've got get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Make sure that is switched on. I do believe at this time that it is worth uh, updating to this driver as, as soon as possible because this does have some major fixes. And I've been reading on some forums that a lot of people have been quite happy with some of the results that they are now getting after installing this particular update. So if you're one of those people that are still on Windows 11 23H2, remember the end of life for that version or that build of Windows ends on November. So you might want to start planning an upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 if you want to skip Windows 11 24H2 altogether, which is completely understandable, then by all means hang on there until November. Hopefully by then, there will be a Windows 11 25H2 released then. But remember, that could also be problematic as well. So you make your choices. Anyway, on May 28th, 2025, KB5058499 is the release. And you can see it's in preview build at the moment, but they are pushing it out as we speak. And you can see some of the gradual rollouts that they're talking about right here and some of the fixes now obviously it's going to have some feature uh, enhancements on there as well and they've listed them all out here as you can see click to do and uh, you can see there's a long list there ask copilot and so on enhance your click to do experience if you don't use any of this stuff and you've got it turned off it's not a big problem but you can see copilot as also as you'd expect had some further new features or enhancements they're probably embedding it in somewhere else on the computer. They've just about got it everywhere at the moment. I myself turn all of that stuff off. And you can see cross device uh, resume. And you've also got the energy saver as well. And graphics. There's a new manage your PC HDR feature as well. Narrator's got some new enhancements. And improved Windows search. There's a few of those uh, been tweaked and added on there as well. 
uh, search on the taskbar, new improvement support. And then you've got in the settings panel right there, there's a bunch of stuff on there as well. Taskbar has had some fixes and stuff. And then we've got voice access and you've got window share as well. That's had some uh, enhancements and fixes and also some new features added as well. They've also listed some fixes. Here you can see audio has been fixed for startup sound, might not play uh, during the boot. They fixed that Bluetooth, uh, camera, and we've also got a display. Uh, there's some also some fixes there as well. And we also have a file explorer input and also a JPEG. Microsoft Management Console MMC has been fixed and improved print and we also have UHF tuning USB and also Windows Hello so there's been a few uh, fixes as well there's some other ones as well that they have fixed that are listed on the site as well I'm not going to go through all of them but you can see some improvements to BitLocker and we also have graphics kernel fixed an issue where some graphics titles become unresponsive after upgrading to 24H2 memory leaks They've been fixed as well, Media, multimedia and the network fixed as well. You can read all this at your own leisure. I'm not going to go through every single word on this video, but I'll leave a link for it in the video description. But there's been some key fixes that have been uh, plaguing Windows 24H2. And a lot of people have been complaining about a lot of these and they've now all been fixed with this one update. Now, if you're impatient like a lot of people are and you want to get this update right away, you can do. There's numerous ways. Microsoft have also put some information on this document on how you can get this update right away if you want to roll it out on your system. And you can see how to get this update before you install this update. It goes through some information right here, but it says through the Windows update right here, you can check for optional updates and it gives you the path right there or you can click on check for optional updates on there and click on this and it will open up this window allow it to open and it will take you straight to your windows optional updates and it will then be listed here there's also other ways like in the microsoft catalog you can go over there as well and manually download it yourself and install it you can either do it via powershell or via command prompt uh, sometimes you can uh, click on these files and install them as well and you can see them listed right there it takes you straight to that actual location as well so you can install it that way if you want to get it right away rather than waiting for Microsoft to roll it out it's entirely up to you I say wait until Microsoft roll this out because they've got it into stages for people because they don't want to over push this out too quickly and then there's a problem and they have to pull it so that is the reason why they're doing it in stages because there's lots of computers that are using Windows. But if you want to download it now and get it installed, that's entirely up to you. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. So if you're on Windows 11 24H2 and you want to fix those annoying bugs that have been around for a while, then this is the patch that will fix a lot of those uh, problems that you've been having. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you've been running this Windows update on your system or whether you've had any issues or anything like that. I'll be interested to read your comments. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three uh, supporting. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next video or on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.